Right until the moment he came down the escalator in Trump Tower, Donald Trump was a very popular figure with everybody in America. This astonishing man, real estate successes, the odd failure too along the way, and of course The Apprentice, a mega program in America. But as soon as the orange man threatened to take office, everything changed because he threatened the liberal order with which everybody was so comfortable. And right from the day he was elected, they tried to delegitimize him. We had the Russia hoax, it went on for years. The Mueller inquiry, which went on for two years. Two utterly false impeachments. But still they haven't stopped, because overnight, extraordinarily, the FBI have raided Mar-a-Lago. They're seeking documents from the Oval Office that they somehow think Trump has kept on his coffee table. Well, had he ever planned a coup on the 6th of January. I doubt he'd have been stupid enough to keep the documents and certainly not to take them back to his home at Mar-a-Lago. Uh, the reaction to this has been quite astonishing. A lot of very fair-minded commentators in America saying this is a step too far. This is the Democrats using the judiciary in a way that it was never designed to be. I have to say, I think it's outrageous, but I know why it's happening. Because I was in Dallas on Saturday. I was there at that CPAC conference. I saw all of the Trump nominees who won their primary contests last Tuesday. You can see the decline of Joe Biden, no obvious replacement within the Democrats, and a growing feeling that Trump will run again in 2024 and maybe even win, and they will do whatever they can to stop him. I think they've got this wrong. I think this will make Trump far more popular. But you tell me at home, has Trump been wronged? Farage at gbnews.uk.